previously on Two Up and Overloaded. We came across a bizarre creature that kind of reminded us of humans, but in a not so flattering way. Oh my gosh, they just walked right past me. But now, as we make our way to another area of the Labuk Bay Proboscis Monkey Reserve in East Malaysia, we were warned about another type of monkey there, the macaques. These guys look really vicious. Because we were about to find out that unlike the proboscis monkeys, these guys definitely want what they want. He wants my flowers. These are romantic monkeys. No, 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 no. And they definitely don't want pancakes. There's a lot of pancakes going on this in the last episode. <laughs> hey everyone, nice to have you here. We are Tim and Marissa No Tear. I ride in the front and I'm in the rear. We travel the world and we pack too much gear. Oh, all the places, places we'll go. go. Through rain and through sleet and through mud and through snow. Oh. All the, the things, things we'll see. see We've been to a country or two Or three Oh, all the, the fun, fun we've, we've had You have you along would make us real glad So give us a like and, and hit subscribe, subscribe To join us along our epic ride So we got back on the motorcycle and we went from platform A to platform B. Okay, so apparently it is not a good idea to leave our motorcycle here while we go to platform B. And the reason why is because of the macaques. They say that they try to steal things. We have everything kind of like tied down, but that they will tear things apart and bite them. They'll bite our boots and they'll take our socks and you know, anything that they possibly can to see what's inside. And so they said we should ride it over to platform B and there will be more cars and more people and the macaques will be less likely to mess with our stuff. So what are you gonna do? I can't argue with that. So we gotta put all our gear on and go. We're not? Okay, well we're gonna we're gonna at least take things apart. It was all of like a, a three minute ride. And so Yeah, it wasn't very far, but People told us, do not leave your motorcycles here. And we're like, why? I mean, everything's fine. We don't have very much stuff. They're like, no, the monkeys yeah. are gonna come and they're gonna steal your stuff. And we said, no, nope, we have these awesome little Moscow Moto things that lock and yeah. everything's secured onto the bike. And they said, they will tear into it. They will bite it. They will tear it apart. Don't leave your motorcycle here. Bring it to platform B where there are more people and there's a bigger parking lot and then there's less likely to be monkeys to tear apart your stuff. And we were like, okay, what can you do? <laughs> we're going like this. Yeah. Most of the gear, some of the time. <laughs> Anytime we get on the bike and we're not fully geared up, we get some comments to say, <laughs> yes. you know, oh my gosh, I can't believe you don't ride without gloves. Sometimes people say, you know, I know. This is a very short distance uh, and we're not taking anything in a, too lightly because we are definitely all the gear all the time. Yeah. We travel around these really hot portions of the world, fully geared, uh, sweating bullets, but <laughs> the, the, the protection is definitely safety first, if you will. But for this three minute ride, please give us a little bit of grace period. <laughs> we, we rode in our t-shirt. Takers oh, for yeah. this little rebels, bit, but. rebels. I felt like James Dean <laughs> cruising along on my KTM. 
We survived. We did. And we got to platform B. <laughs> now platform B is where it's at when it comes to Labuk Bay because it has a full on like establishment there. They yeah. have a restaurant. They have actually a little museum. They have a place where they're making all of this food that they give out to the proboscis monkeys since the reserve is so small that it does not provide enough food for them they have to supplement it yeah. such as the pancakes <laughs> that we covered in the last episode and as soon as we got onto the like the the main kind of area of the the, the master feeding deck if you will there were like little curious georges hanging out everywhere oh my god they were just sticking their heads up over the stairs as if they were people just sitting there, like, yep, yeah. just chilling on like, the stairs. What stoop. are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> What's going on over there? There's a lot of you guys. What's going on? You know? <laughs> it was too cute. It was super cute. And these proboscis monkeys have such strange features, not just their face, their you know noses and Everything. their bellies, but their hands. I cannot get over their hands. Yeah. They're so weird. Super cute, but super kind of creepy it's too. It's kind of creepy. Yeah. yeah. It's like, you know, like werewolf hands. Yeah. <laughs> it's like someone on Halloween in a costume yeah, hands. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> like spirit Halloween store gloves that are like, well, those are cheesy, but. <laughs> but they're also kind <laughs> but of they're, scary. They're pretty scary. <laughs> Then there was this uh, little old man that had the yum yum snacks and he was going to the platform, he had bananas, you know? Uh, and we turn the corner and he starts setting up on the ledge to feed hornbills. Horn the man with the bananas is heading over here. Oh my gosh, I've never seen a hornbill. It's on all of their promotions. Oh my gosh, there it is. So he was not going to feed the proboscis monkeys at this moment. He was actually putting out these bananas. Apparently proboscis monkeys don't eat bananas. Crazy. Mind blown, but hornbills. I, but hornbills love them. Yeah. And so these are wild birds, gorgeous, super iconic. We've been hoping to see these for a very long time. They were being fed. Yeah. So, you know, that's not awesome. But in that moment, I was so excited to see them. And this was a good blend, and I'm not just making up excuses, but it was a good blend of where man and nature meet more harmoniously than some other like zoo type settings where there's actual cages. Yes. This was a natural nature reserve and yes. the hornbills flew there on their own. It did feel very harmonious. And the hornbills are so beautiful. They have, of course, these giant horns on their bill. <laughs> they also have these amazing eyelashes. Yeah. What? They are they are vogue. They are <laughs> And I think it's the males too. Usually the males are like the pretty ones trying to They are the pretty ones yeah. in the bird world. This yes. is true. They but, all had eyelashes. Yeah, and I cannot stand sorry for all of our viewers, but I can't stand fake eyelashes that are like these two like brooms. <laughs> coming out of people's heads. But on these birds, it was quite, it was quite cute. It was amazing. It did look like just someone had taken fake eyelashes yes. and put them on these birds for... It looked very weird. Yeah. And in fact, eyelashes on birds is extremely rare. They only happen a couple of times. There's ostriches, emus, penguins, and then these hornbills. So it, it's a very bizarre thing. The hornbill is actually Malaysia's national bird and with good reason. They are amazing. In order to support their heavy heads, hornbills have much thicker and stronger necks than most birds. It's also believed that if a hornbill flies over your home, that is a sign of good fortune. Uh, the, uh, the hornbill actually 
makes it up on another bill as well on the <laughs> the five dollar ringgit the hornbill makes an appearance and so that's pretty cool and this is a little souvenir from us from now on that we'll keep because we like the little hornbills they're our buddies So these monkeys were like little Tony Hawks and you know, <laughs> parkour dudes running around like a little a jungle gym, if you will. But not even as graceful as Tony Hawk. They're like no. their own unique type of movements. <laughs> yeah, when they jump. <laughs> 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 child that's trying too hard to jump and is like Wah! Yeah. <laughs> pancakes and ran off with like all the good food. <laughs> Females were super cute with yeah. their little Husu noses. Cindy Whoville. Cindy Who. <laughs> but the males, they're they're not so flat. Yeah, their noses are a bit extreme. Yeah, it's just a lot of a lot of nose. Mm, yeah. Yeah. But the girls must love it. Yeah, the bigger the the nose. That's what they say, right? Yeah, that's what they say. <laughs> so after all that monkeying around, yep. we were hungry, and there was that restaurant right there, so we decided to eat some food. I don't know what it is about you, but you like to flatten your food out before you eat it. Yeah. Flat food. Flat food. I'm Take a flat food fan. You, most of you do too. I don't do this. No, most of them. Oh, yeah. But do you think there are other people that are like you? And I'm not so sure. <laughs> I don't, well, there's, there's flat earthers. Okay. <laughs> and then there's flat eaters. Yes, and if you are a flat eater, please let us know if you flatten your yeah. food. Because I'm skeptical that there what are is other this, people ducktails? like that. People eating mounds <laughs> of food. <laughs> Comment below if you flatten your food. <laughs> Who eats mounds of food? <laughs> no one. No, you flatten it down. It, it's a uh, more temperature control for all of your food. That's true. I've that's math wow. behind this. I never thought of that. Yes. <laughs> Engineering. Pi. <laughs> Flat. Yeah. Math. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I uh, did what you got to do in this type of weather and just soaked my head. I soaked this thing. Oh, feels better already. Oh, you buddy. <laughs> So as we were leaving the Labuk Bay Proboscis Monkey Reserve, we thought, oh, this is going to be the end of our day. Got all geared up. It was a zillion degrees, but we were ready for it. Yeah. And in order to get out, we had to pass by Platform A again. Yeah. Oh, look at the guy at the exit. And as we did, there were a whole bunch of cars there and people messing around with monkeys and we there were monkeys everywhere there were monkeys everywhere now these were different monkeys than the proboscis monkeys these are the macaques and the macaques are very mischievous yeah they're like the the evil monkeys i'm going to go yeah. ahead and say it. i like all monkeys but these are like the little kind of bratty like skate or die punk. <laughs> they do have that little like mohawk yeah. sometimes yeah they were all over the cars they were definitely going through the trash bins, pulling everything out. Oh. Oh. 
Yeah, when the people told us not to leave the motorcycle there at platform A, they were not kidding because these monkeys were so naughty. Yeah, we don't want any, uh, any monkeys messing around with our stuff. They were not that nice when you got too close. Yeah. They were pretty vicious and they made it known that they were not happy to have us near them. They are not friendly. These guys look really vicious. One just totally made a hostile move towards Tim, baring his teeth and everything. Maybe they don't like our helmets. Yeah, they bare their teeth mm -hmm. and they look, you know, like this is the first Planet of the Apes movie, like before they got <laughs> super yeah. intelligent, but they were, you know, like getting aggressive. Mm -hmm. I can see where this plot is going. Short amount of time span, the They're macaques take over. are our leaders. <laughs> But, uh, and it, it should be the proboscis, even though. It should, but yeah. They're a peaceful, a peaceful, <laughs> a peaceful race. Peaceful race. Yes. We realized that taking the helmets off really helped because having helmets on, they did not like that. No. Um, I don't know if our heads were just too big. Big headed. <laughs> but it was. They didn't big like Big headed that. Americans. No one likes big headed Americans. have an obsession with helmets in general because as we were taking pictures of them we made some friends there you know there were other people taking pictures and we started going on the boardwalk a little bit I had my helmet with me because I didn't want to leave it on the motorcycle because you know they're gonna go onto the motorcycle and try to get the helmet so I carried it with me but this one monkey in particular really wanted my helmet he wants my flowers. <laughs> no, 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 Monkey really, Monkey really wanted, wanted to helmet. climb helmet. It is a really nice helmet. It is. It's my favorite helmet I've ever had. I absolutely love that helmet. But TK1200 transitional lens yes. made out of just so light, space carbon. age light. Oh, oh. This monkey knew. This monkey yeah. was a climb <laughs> fan. So just as a general warning, because this place is on our tour that we are doing, our motorcycle tour, our motorcycle monkey tour of beautiful Borneo, be careful when you're here with us yeah. uh, because they will steal your stuff. So we are super excited. If you have shoey helmets, we can test to see <laughs> if the monkey prefers climb over shoey or so Sherbert, true. I think that's not a helmet. Schubert. Schubert. Sherbert on your head on a hot day <laughs> That'd be would be nice, but not. I don't think it's IDOT approved. But you should definitely check out our tour. We have a website page devoted to it because it's brand new and we're super excited to be hosting some of you guys to yeah. ride with us through the island of Borneo. So check it out in the link in the description below. I bet when we go back, we're going to find this exact same monkey that was after my helmet. Bam. So we left fully satisfied for that day. Yeah. It was an amazing, amazing experience in this little reserve for beautiful birds, monkeys, you know, naughty ones, good ones. <laughs> really, really cool. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't quite the uh, Christina Aguilera that you all might have wanted to see, but it's really nice. <laughs> 
last time I did that, a little dripped into my eye and it was so salty, yeah, my eyes stung. <laughs> Isn't that horrible? We, we rode back out and we got back to Sandakan. which is a beautiful city. The sun was kind of going down as we came into the city. That evening, we walked over to the oceanfront area, which of course has set up with all of these little night market stalls and food stalls. You've got to love the street food of Malaysia. Yeah. And the sun was setting behind the ocean, and this woman had these bubbles, and there were just bubbles all over the ocean breeze, like floating around. It was gorgeous. It was really, really pretty. Just a, a beautiful moment to end a really, really nice day. We are absolutely loving this part of the world. So anybody from this region, you know, we want to thank you all for your hospitality, the generosity and the kindness and uh, the, the open arms of, of friendship. So a specific shout out and thank you to you. And you, the Malaysian people. Next time, we head to Semporna. So, this is the city of Semporna, a tourist hotspot on the coast of eastern Sabah. Island hopping. Take a trip, take a trip, take a trip, trip with me. But along the way, more mirror issues. But that will all be in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below. Ding, ding. And if Patreon is your thing, please check out our Patreon link in the description below. For as little as a dollar a month, you get early access to our videos ad-free and a postcard sent to you from wherever we are in the world. This is true. So please check out our Patreon link in the description below, and we'll be seeing you next time. Stay safe, everybody. Bye. Peace. Oh, you're gonna sit like a mermaid. Like a merman. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, man. I used to give up a hundred times.